to go on your very first gondola ride. How do you feel? I'm so excited. <laughs> Are you afraid of heights? Yes. Oh. What oh. should we be prepared for? Oh God, I didn't even think, I was so excited about the leaves. I didn't, well, can you <laughs> hold my hand? <laughs> Are you <laughs> leaf teasing? Leaf because I wanted to see the leaves. <laughs> it's all right, we'll be okay. I can run and you can too. We're a lot more better than you ever knew. So come along on our adventure. There are many things to treasure. How we love you, dearest Rutland. You can run and too. Oh, hi everyone. And welcome to the top of Killington Peak in gorgeous Killington, Vermont. We're here again today with Arwen Turner the director, executive director of Come Alive Outside and together we're going to explore some of the things that we love most about autumn in Vermont. Come on! She went the other way. <laughs> I don't... I had to get my <laughs> It's a little high up, but here in Rutland, we like to reach for the stars. It just takes a little bit of jumping. Oh, my shoes. No, Sarah, you're doing it all wrong. But I found the one I want. What one do you want? The one that's up there. Oh, oh Sarah. That's not First of all, enough. you're going, you need to learn the correct way to pick an apple. <laughs> First you're gonna twist it. <laughs> twist, twist it. Twist it. Okay. And twist it and then pull down and it comes off really easy without pulling the whole branch off. And without ruining your teeth. But this one is a real Rutland apple, right? Yeah. That was your choice. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I got apple in my shoe and I hate it. It's in, it's everywhere. There's apple everywhere and I want to go home. Bye. I feel like we're introducing 
things that you do a lot of great games to play in the fall or things to do in the fall. Did you do this in Pennsylvania or is it? I have watched. Hi, Cheetah. Okay. She's licking her donut. Oh, no, no licking of the donut. So what we're going to do, I think many of you have played this before, we are going to attempt to see who can eat their donut the fastest with their hands behind their back. And you have thought of some fun rules. on the ground at some point, whoever has eaten the most of it wins. Right. All right. And, and Kristen and Joe, what do they win? Kristen, Another no. donut. Yeah. So you guys are probably going to try to get first and second, I'm guessing. You're going to try really hard. But don't let it drop. All right. You want to count us off? Are you ready for the apple cider donut eating contest? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. On your mark. Get set. Go. <laughs> Just look out up here on Killington Peak, but they're about to do a wedding over there, so we thought we'd work instead next to this pile of gravel. I think it kind of fits with how we are as we are Rutlanding this up here in Killington. Uh, so Arwen, we, we heard a little bit about uh, your ride on the gondola. Can you tell us a bit about Come Alive Outside, the organization you work for? Sure. So Come Alive Outside is a nonprofit, and what we do is we connect people to nature for health, wellness, and joy. Everything we do is in collaboration with other community groups, and it's all about finding that way to get outside and be active in a way that fits each person. So Come Alive Outside might be for some people hiking up this mountain on foot or riding a bike down it. Other people might take a gondola up and just peep at some leaves. It's really whatever you feel like. As long as you're connecting with nature, you are succeeding in being outdoorsy. So what are your, some of your favorite things about fall in Vermont? Yeah, I think, I, number one, I actually moved to Vermont because I was kind of obsessed with the idea of fall in New England. So coming from California to here, I've always dreamed of seeing the changing leaves. But I have my three P's of like being a fall enthusiast. And those are peeping, pumpkins, and plaid. I have a little plaid. You do have a little plaid. I have plaid. a little plaid. I'm because doing it. You're doing it. I'm doing it. Our photographer is doing it. Fantastic. Yeah. So, as you know, we're putting this show together to celebrate the joys and oddities of wonderful Rutland. What are some of your hopes? and great joys about what you have experienced as a newcomer to our fair city. I love Rutland. Rutland embraced me like a warm fuzzy hug from the day I got here. Um, my hope for Rutland is that it keeps true to itself. I like the authenticity of Rutland. 
I also um, just want people to get outside and enjoy it more. There's so many cool things to see and do in Rutland County. I mean, we have this in Rutland City proper. We have all the murals. We have all of the sculptures. We have amazing things and people and history and snacks and Pine Hill Adventure Forest and just so, so much. Well, Arwen, thank you so much for your time. I was really glad to come alive outside with you today and I look forward to seeing you back downtown. Thank you. I like coming outside. Uh. <laughs> thank you. I liked coming alive outside with you too. This first one is don't light a campfire in here. The second one is no burning chocolate sticks. This one is don't throw your whiskey bottle out. This one's don't be a tool. This one's no grease lightning dancing. This one's don't try to calm a bear from here. And this one's don't fart in front of your friends. All right, guys, I haven't heard from Sarah in days. I have n no idea where she is or what is happening. So uh, we're, we're at her house right now in her backyard. I don't know how to get in her house, but I thought maybe I could try her garage door in the back here to see if it opens. I don't know. But yeah, in case you were wondering what our yards look like, this is hers. I mean, it looks like she mowed it recently. So I don't know, maybe she's around. Uh, Sarah? What, Sarah? What, what are you doing? I'm napping with my pumpkins, Charlie Brown. Wh wh why? because they need company. Because I planted them late and their leaves are starting to shrivel because the frost has set in and they're not ready. Mm. So I'm with them in their, in their strife. Oh. oh, okay. Well, I've been worried about you, but I'm, uh, I'm glad you're here. Come look at it. You did that? I did. No, oh, good work, buddy. I never thought it would be this big when I just put three little pumpkin seeds in the ground. You can see it's kind of taken over my lawn a little bit. Yeah, I was just showing our friends at home that you just mowed it recently. So you, good work on. I grew something. I usually kill plants. They're going to die soon. I need to harvest my babies. But I grew something. Good work, buddy. Proud of you. Thank you. And I'm glad I found you. Here I am. Good night. Oh. Simba.